A routine flight that turned into a big mess for me. Hey kid, don't ever let them get inside your head. They'll tell you what to do in life instead. I always have a heavy heart on my last day in Thailand, and this was it again. Time to pack up and go home. And we're back in Suwannaboom Airport, which looks great at the minute. Everywhere is clean and tidy. I am having an issue with Qatar Airlines at the minute, see above, but I will try and give a fair review for this flight. Let me show you a few things in the airport. The Aksha is there to keep evil spirits out and is sticking to the health guidelines, well done. And there is a large new exhibition piece showing Buddhist creation, very impressive and eye catching. As always in Swanaboom Airport, bring your walking shoes for those large terminals. Today we are flying on my favourite, the A380. We are in 57k for this flight, which was on the lower level of our flight, QR831. All was going well and we were ready to leave 30 minutes after our scheduled time. We got out onto the tarmac and headed for the runway, but there was issues in the cockpit. We ended up back at the airport for three hours due to a technical fault. After sitting on the plane for almost four hours, we finally got going. At long last. The legroom was good and there was plenty of storage space in the seat in front. Even side to side leg space was good. That's why I love the A380. The crew rushed to get dinner out due to the delay in takeoff. We started with some type of pasta and fruit salad, not very good. The main dish was Penang beef and rice. That was pretty tasty. The dessert was some type of cheesecake, which was a little bit too sweet for me. A quick inspection of the very small toilet, nasty, just nasty, and it smelled pretty bad. The one area where Qatar is above average is its entertainment system. You could spend hours and hours going through all the films, TV series and music. There is something to suit everyone. As I went through it I found there was a large selection of new and classic films in English, new and old western music and lots of features in Arabic. The touch screen is also quite responsive. I settled for the 1935 version of Mutiny on the Bounty, which was great. After almost 11 hours sitting on the plane, I was looking forward to disembarking and running for my next flight. The landing was smooth, but we arrived in Doha three hours late. I had missed my connector to Dublin and I had to spend the night in Doha airport, which sucked. The ground staff took ages to help me rebook on a new flight and I lost my business class seat as there were none available on the next flight. All in all, a very disappointing experience with Qatar. And at the time of making this video, I'm still trying to get a refund for the business class seat they could not supply due to our late flight leaving Bangkok. I love flying, but it can be very trying at times. So overall, this Qatar flight was not very good, and trying to deal with their customer service or complete lack of customer service after the event has convinced me I will never fly with them again. I will battle on to try and get the money they owe me. Wish me well. Let me know in the comments if you've had good or bad experiences with Qatar. I would love to know am I the only one, or is it a more widespread problem? Don't be shy guys, leave comments and you can also link your videos into the comment section.